Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about static routing but the topic is little bit different from static routing because we are going to discuss about floating static route here like how our route will be float. So in floating static route practical we have to like play a game with the help of administrative distance value that we know by default it is one for static routing. So in this design you can see that already R1 is connected to R2 with 10 network, R2 is connected to 20 network, uh, R3 network with 20 and after that we have a loop back 3331. So here what I am going to do uh, like for example R1 to R2 I am going to use one more link here f0 by 1 is connected to okay so I think I have to use here uh, serial interface so first of all I have to put the right command here and off the router then I can configure okay if you don't want to use uh, uh, serial port then you can also use here fast ethernet port but okay, it will provide us something different. So I'm going to use here. After write, all the configuration will be saved. And we can add serial port here. So here you can see we have now one more port is here. Serial port. So fast ethernet 0 by 0 and 0 by 1 is uh, the first link that we have created 10.0.0.0 slash 30 and the serial link that we are going to create new that's IP should be uh, we can take any 50.0.0.0 slash 30 okay so I will on the both router so already I have configured 10.0.0.0 20.0.0.0 and 3331 so new cable serial 1y0 has to be configured so we can check on router number one. First, I will use the command show IP interface brief. So 10.0.0.1 is already assigned. So interface serial 1y0 is assigned with 50.0.0.1. So no shut. Okay. And on router number two, interface serial 1y0 IP address 50.0.0.2 so now we have two links from like if we want to transfer our data from R1 to R3 so I have two links but I want to use concept here like floating static route now floating static route means like if my one link down then routing router automatically change your path from one network to another network okay so what I am going to use here I am going to use here the concept of AD okay so for floating static route I have to choose the path okay so I am taking an example of okay uh, with written topic I can understand you for example R1 has now 10 and 50 connected network so it's indirect network like static route should be for 20 and static route should be for 331 okay so now I have two wire like wire number 10002 wire number 5002 and wire number 10002 for this also 5002 now your company wants that your if you are going to ping with 20 then your primary route should be 10.0.0.2 but if you are pinging with 3.3.1 then your primary route should be 50.0.0.2 so what you will do you will configure 20 with this route and 3.3.3 with 50 routes but for example my one route goes down for example 50 will down then you are not able to ping with 3 if 10 will down then you are not able to ping with 20 so you have to install both the root in this okay but you have to install it with the changing ad value like for 20 you have to install both the root but 
when your y r is 10 0 0 2 then your a d is 1 when your y r is 50 0 0 2 you can change your a d to 10 ok and for 3 3 3 1 via 50 0 0 2 ad is 1 and via 10 0 0 2 your ad should be 10 so what will happen by default they will show you with the lowest id root so click on router number one okay i will erase this so i am going to configure configure ip root 20.00.255.255.255.252 via 10.00.2 enter so I have not changed the id value but when I am going to configure it with 50.00.2 then question mark you can give the distance here so the distance is 10 and similarly ip root 3.3.3.1 255 via is uh, 10 0 0 2 and the ad value is 10 and there is no ad value for 50.0.0.2 do show history so these are the commands that we have used here ok now move on to router number 2 because on router number 2 I have to use the command IP root sorry IP root 3.3.3.1255 and 20.0.0.2 is your next hook and for last router router number 3 we have two indirect root one is IP root for 10 Sorry, I have put the space. And 20.0.0.1 is the wire. And for 50, the wire is same. Okay. So first, for testing the floating static root, first I will ping to 3.3.3.1. First I will check, it is pinging or not. Yes, it is pinging. So secondly, I am going to check ping with 20.0.0.1. So it is also pinging. Now check show IP root. So in show IP root, you can see for 20 network, via 10.0.0.2 is there because AD value is 1. For 3.3.3.1, via 50.0.0.2 is there because AD value is 1. Now for example, my one root goes down like this my fast ethernet goes down so when you are going to ping with 20.0.0.1 it is pinging when you are pinging with 3.3.1 it is pinging why it is pinging because the root is floated now 20.0.0.0 is with via 50.0.0.2 because we have uh, configured this root before but the AD value is 10 so the concept of floating the root is known as floating static root. Thank you so much.